Alright, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Bulldog Revolver mod, which is being made by users Jadaby and Shoe Burglar. And what this glorious little piece of work looks at into the game is, well, the new Bulldog Revolver. But that's not it. You also get another pistol by the name of the PM Eagle, which we'll go and have a look at over there in a moment. And these are some fun new handguns that I think fit in pretty nicely into the Commonwealth. So let's head on over here and have a look at what we do get, starting with the Bulldog Revolver, which at its base level will do a 59 damage with a 556 round with a firing rate of 6, a range of 119, accuracy of 66, and a weight of 3.9. And as you can see here, it's a pretty sort of beat up weapon, which I actually quite like. I think it fits in with the post-apocalyptic world. It looks like it was a pre-war revolver that had bits and pieces of it knocked off and broken over the years and it i think is pretty cool now we do also get a pretty decent number of modifications now it is a revolver so you're never going to really be able to make it into anything wacky but still you know uh, enough modifications to fill the niche that you're looking to use this weapon in now besides the bulldog though we also as i mentioned have another gun the pm eagle and uh, this one will do a base a damage of 44, surprisingly, with a 44 round, with a firing rate of 46, range of a 119, accuracy of 61, and a weight of 4.9. And as you can see here, this one's a bit more intact of a weapon. I do like the, the texturing on it look, makes it look a bit older and uh, worn. But yes, yeah, still a much more fully intact gun compared to the Bulldog. And seems like a bit more traditional of a semi-automatic pistol. But all in all, pretty good. I do love all the details there. It is quite nice. Now, sadly, my one problem with this gun is it has a lot less modifications than the Bulldog. It's still enough to keep it relevant and useful into the mid-game, but uh, yeah, it's not a whole long list of things. Now, as for the uh, two guns themselves, they are most certainly sort of early to mid-game pistols, and even with the modifications, you're never going to get them too stupendously powerful, but for the early game, I think they are some wonderful things for you to play around with. Now, as for how you do get them, you'll start seeing them right off the bat at level one in vendors that specialize in guns. So, you know, gun shops. Now, at level 10, you'll actually start to see these spawn on various random enemies in the world. So you can pick up one up for free at that point. Or, you know, do what I did and bring them all in with console commands, the cheaty way. Good times. Now, let's go take a look at the modifications we do have available, starting with the Bulldog here. And in the receiver category, we have the pretty typical list of things from standard all the way up to calibrated powerful, dealing the highest amount of damage you can do with either of these guns at 88. My personal favorite of the receivers, though, is the one that isn't typical, and that's the snake shot, which puts it up to 73 damage, so a good improvement, but uses shotgun shells, and who wouldn't want a handgun shotgun? That's just, uh, that's just fun. Now on to the next category, we have the barrels, where we either have the standard, a snub nose, or a bull barrel, which is just cool looking. I really love the look of that one. And then in the grip category, we either have the standard or a comfort grip, which is literally just some duct tape wrapped around the back bit there. Good times. Now after that, we have the sights where we have the standard, the night glow sights, a short scope, and a reflex scope. It's not a huge list here, but a serviceable list where you have, if you want to make it a short range sniping, you got the scope for close up, you got the reflex sight, so you know, it covers its bases. Now then, after the sights, we have the muzzle category, where we either have nothing, a suppressor, a large bayonet, or a compensator. Pretty typical things there. And then finally, we have the paint category, where we either have nothing, or weep paint? I 
Okay, that's what you want. Have fun with it. I don't get it, though, but cool. It's an option for you, and it'll only cost you two oil. Now, after that, for the PM Eagle, like I said, a lot less stuff in here, but let's start with the receivers, where it's the pretty standard list of things from light framed up to advanced. Highest damage you can do with this one is going to be 77. Uh, so again, early to mid game, but not horrible. Then after that, we have the barrel category, where we only have the one standard barrel. I never understand why mods give you the option for those categories when they only have one thing, but oh well one barrel. And then after that, with the magazines, we have either the standard, a large, quick eject, or a large quick eject. Always good. And then we have the sights category, where we only have the option of the standard night glow sights, or a reflex sight. So no short range sniping for you in this one. And then finally, we have the muzzle, where we only have the no muzzle option, or a suppressor. Which, uh, with how large that suppressor is, it actually, um, really blocks the iron sights. And even if you use the reflex sight with this one, it's still kind of hard to aim. You'll actually see it in a little bit when we go to shooting with my modified version I made. Now let's actually get to said shooting and begin with our lovely bulldog revolver here. It only holds four bullets no matter which receiver you go with. So you are going to be reloading a lot with this gun, but let's take some shots. There we go, a quick, nice reload. Let's check the fire rate here. So pretty slow all in all, but I mean, you know, it's a it's a, set, a 5.56 revolver. I kind of expected it to be slow, let's be honest here. Ah, uh, good times, good times. But a good, smooth shooting and animations, always good to see. Now let's go to the PM Eagle, which of course, being a semi-automatic pistol, is gonna fire a lot more quickly. There we go, good solid reload, and let's ch check that speed. And look at how little recoil there actually is on this one. It uh, will very easily stay on target. Now let's go grab our modified versions. This is the shotgun weeb pistol. Still don't understand that paint, but okay, you do you. And a suppressed version of the uh, PM Eagle. So let's go to the shotgun one, and I mean, 73 damage, shotgun shells with a pistol. I'm pretty happy about that. I mean, come on, who doesn't want a shotgun handgun? It's just fun! And let's see, the recoil with the shotgun shells, not bad. And with the slow firing rate, it actually returns back to where you were originally aiming anyways. So, a very controllable weapon. Now, of course, not going to be the greatest for range, but uh, you enter into a room full of enemies with this thing. Well, they're going to be having a bad day. Fun, fun little gun. I like it. Now, let's... so oh, and also, of course, I have the bayonet on this thing. So, stab and stab. Good times. All right. So, let's look at the suppressed advanced PM Eagle. And take a look at that... Uh, yeah, see, that's the issue with the reflex side. It's even worse with the iron iron, uh, iron sights on this. As you can see, the point where I'm actually supposed to aim is, like, right at the top of the actual suppressor. So I don't actually get to see the nice little reflex uh, dot there. Which is a little, a little weird, but, I mean, you, you compensate and you get used to it, I guess. But uh, it does have the large quick eject magazine, so a very good fast reload, good fire rate with all those bullets, uh, which even with 16 rounds, still pretty controllable, not the worst uh, kick in the world. All in all, I'd say a good little gun. So let's go try these out on some enemies, and of course use our usual Randy and Will. Starting with Will over here, and let's get him resurrected there. We'll use the PM Eagle against him, and fire. So a couple of shots, but do remember Will and Randy are both uh, much tougher than your usual mongrel and rad stag. But still, did some pretty good damage. Now we're gonna have to get pretty close for the shotgun on this one, cause well, oh no, we actually gotta pull that out first. Uh, there we go. Then resurrect good old Randy here. I'm sorry, my friend, but it must be done. There we go. 
and three shots for him to be downed with one left in the cylinder for you to then carry on shooting good times but yeah that is gonna be it for this little mod uh, video here a fun little selection of two new handguns i personally prefer this one the most mainly because it does have the ability to change it to shotgun shells to me that's just a whole lot of fun the pm eagle though also still a perfectly serviceable pistol and if you are in the early to mid game it will be pretty good for you and fairly cheap and easy to get a hold of now if you'd like to check this one out for yourself which i'd certainly recommend you go and do you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual but that my friends is gonna be it for today i hope you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one <laughs>